Aquaman has got a release date in China. It's going to drop December 7th. Two weeks before it reaches U.S. theaters, North American theaters on December 21st, that weekend, and one week before it apparently hits other markets, I think, like the U.K. and, you know, places in Europe and stuff. So I think that Warner Brothers, they're trying to have Aquaman make as much money as possible before it reaches December 21st in North America. By opening it in China first, December 7th, you know, I think like the second biggest like money making market for movies. I think they're planning or hoping for it to make a huge splash. No pun intended, but it was accidental financially and hopefully be carried by good reviews and word of mouth early. Then, you know, to carry it into the December 14th date when it hits like the UK and stuff like that. And then, you know, the same thing to continue to December 21st when it hits, you know, the United States and Canada and stuff like that. And maybe this will, if it makes enough money earlier in these other international markets before it hits America, presumably to make a lot of money here too, that will help buoy it and buttress it against, you know, all that competition it's facing that same December 21st weekend here in the U.S., like Mary Poppins, Bumblebee. Right now, they're all scheduled to open the same weekend. And, you know, originally Mary Poppins was supposed to open December 25th, a week after, but Disney moved it up. I think to kind of maybe slap Aquaman in the face because like Disney and Marvel, they like to be very aggressive with, you know, DC movies, you know, like they opened when Justice League came out last November, I think they pushed Punisher to open that same weekend, you know, the Punisher on Netflix, you know, I think to kind of, you know, slap DC in the face a little bit, you know, just to take a dig at their competition. And I think they're kind of doing the same thing by putting Mary Poppins that same weekend as Aquaman. So I think Warner Brothers play to, since I don't think Warner Brothers is moving from December 21st, at least not right now, they could, you know, because like Infinity War, right? Marvel moved Infinity War, like they changed the date for Infinity War, I think three, two to three weeks before it came out. Originally it was supposed to come out that first week in May, but they moved it to April 27th, the week earlier, I think to give it more room before Deadpool 2 came out. So Warner Brothers could wait, you know, like right up until December 21st and announce we're moving Aquaman in the nor in North America. But for now they aren't. So I think their play is just to have Aquaman make as much money early, you know, to lead up into that really competitive December 21st week. And, you know, from December 7th to December 21st, make as much money as possible around the world to help, you know, kind of put a buffer between it and the juggernaut of Mary Poppins and Bumblebee and other things. I think the real juggernaut is Mary Poppins. But I don't know, Bumblebee could surprise us. But I think this very 21st in America, it's going to be basically Aquaman versus Mary Poppins in terms of who's going to dominate that box office. I think that's Warner Brothers' play or strategy here as of now. Now, it could be though, maybe Mary Poppins won't be that big of a threat because Mary Poppins is a different kind of movie than Aquaman is. You know, Mary Poppins is like going to be a G-rated musical with all this, you know, animation in it. And Aquaman's going to be a straight up action movie. But Aquaman's going to be PG-13, so that's still going to be a family-friendly movie because that's what the PG-13 rating is. I think Aquaman's PG-13, right? So a lot of the same families and kids are basically going to have a choice that same weekend to see Mary Poppins or Aquaman because they can get into both movies. So, you know, it's possible that Aquaman and Mary Poppins might not be that much competition because they are different types of movies. But it's possible that they will because the same people can see either one that same weekend. So, you know, we'll see. But I do think that opening the movie early in China and then in other and then later on in um, the UK and, Euro, you know, France and stuff, opening it in these other countries earlier before it hits the US is good strategy, actually, to have it make a lot of money internationally first. And then, you know, presumably, hopefully the movie's good to have those good reviews, word of mouth from other countries help buoy it when it drops here in the United States and Canada. So, you know, I think Warner Brothers does have a plan and a strategy with how they're going to release Aquaman to, so it can compete as well as it can in such a crowded, you know, movie season. You know, it's not just Mary Poppins and Bumblebee. There's like Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and there's probably two or three other movies coming out in December I can't think of right now <laughs> that are potential box office juggernauts. But, you know, I think Warner Brothers has a strategy. So, you know, I think Aquaman, you know, if the reviews are good and if it's a good movie, it might be just fine.
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.